<laughs> well, from soapies to style, street style is a global phenomenon which has made the man on the street the inspiration for what comes down the runway. We caught up with some local menswear designers to see how taking inspiration from local culture has influenced their fashion forecast. As Africans, our taste for colour exceeds what we see in grey global cities. Our willingness to experiment with fashion results in bold street style. As a brand, we celebrate uh, Africa through threads of cotton. So we don't really, really follow a particular trend, but we're inspired by Africa. As far as uh, our sports range, I mean, if you're talking track pants, uh, we're not afraid to go, you know, with the rather loose fit, uh, especially with the drop crotch. But, I mean, on the other side as well, we've got a little bit of the tight fits as well, you know, just to try and cater to a certain market. Fabrication, we spend a lot of time on the washes. Denim, obviously, you get your hand sanding and all that sort of stuff. But we do a double dye at the moment on our T-shirts and also our hoodies and crew necks. So what that is, is you turn the garment inside out and you wash it again and again and again until you get a specific colour. We're not afraid to use any colour. I mean, if, if you're going to represent Africa, especially South Africa, so we're a rainbow nation, so, I mean, you can see that will correlate and echo itself through our clothing as well with all the colours. So we're not afraid to express Africa in that light and the patterns as well. So we're not afraid to actually be a representation of the people on the African streets. You know, they're really about expression at the end of the day, self-expression. For his winter collection, Kujula Mdambo combined Western influences such as athletic cuts and tailored silhouettes with prominent African prints. The inspiration is all about the Western prints with a little bit of African prints in between got the, the urban look, which is something that is ready to wear. They are trying to mix the little bit of Italian inspiration and also with the African. I use more prints because I think that is in the trend now. It's a blue coat, the printed one, the full one, because I just focus on the prints to go for something different. Designer Craig Jacobs is one of South Africa's fashion patriarchs. His collection reflects our heritage and sense of style and fabrication. The influences around the collection is really about the fact that I've been doing women's wear for like now almost about 10 years and they're warriors. The Funduzi woman is a warrior, so I thought I'll introduce the Funduzi man to join the tribe. It's very much grounded in Africa because Funduzi is a sacred lake in Africa. They're inspired by our country and our continent and the rich tapestry of life here. In terms of the shapes and silhouettes, it's always quite clean. A lot of it was close to the body, but there's also a few like kind of oversized shapes. I think for winter, you can envelope yourself a little bit more uh, in terms of fabric. And then I accessorize the collection. All the guys are wearing New Balance sneakers, and these are most amazing necklaces by Henrietta Vuerta, who I absolutely loved, and I thought they are so warrior. The men have to wear them, and why can't men wear accessories like that? It's very muted in terms of the colours that I've used for winter. There's lots of browns, lots of blacks, blue, there's always blue in Funduzzi. And a little bit of cherry and a little bit of yellow. Um, the fabrications are all locally made. There's a lot of shwe shwe because it's really the only real African, South African fabric. So I tried to manipulate that in different ways and play with the prints in different ways. Finally, designers are offering men fashion which appeals to their identity as well as their wardrobe.